Hello and welcome to the next episode. This time we are going into China, most likely at least. So we are going to have to spend at least two or three missions to improve public opinion still. We might be able to get him another persuasion soon. We also have a little bit of room for orcs here. Looks like we could also still remove this one, but we don't have anything available on the market here right now. What we could consider is to move this one over, in fact. So yeah, this one has only... No, wait a second. This guy doesn't have public campaign, right? Um... Oh no, he gets it from Peru. Okay. And he also has Crooks advertising for plus two. Hmm. Wait a second, should we do it the other way around? Yes. Oh, that was a little bit of a waste now. So Crooks should go to the other guy. Uh, here we go. No, it's investigation person. Uh, 16 here. So Crooks goes here. 18 now, perfect. Um. Question though is At your service. what are the chances of Alex here you now? We should just increase the money to we'll 40. To recuperate the lacking persuasion. Reporting in. And now Ready you my have Yeah, 75% chance. Really good. I will tell our story. I like it. I really, really like it. Now, <laughs> is there anything else we can optimize right now? We can try to get rid of the rivalry as shown last time, but they didn't agree. So I guess we are going to just skip ahead some some mission phases. We are already up to two percent now, so even with sixty four influence, we are already at fifty. We only need two successes basically to max out our control points. Even one would already be enough. We might get another project afterwards here which enables us to get more control points but let's see what exactly comes out of it we have finished hydrobiology our pre-autopsy assessment reveals that as expected the aliens are carbon based and breathe oxygen like ourselves the ability to exist without protection on earth makes it highly likely that the atmospheric composition of the home world is highly similar to our own more unexpected is that the prevailing inverted knees anatomically theory is incorrect what we are seeing is not the knee, but the ankle, thus the leg anatomy is akin to that of a horse or dog. Since this type of structure is better suited to speed than climbing, it is highly likely that these aliens evolved on flatter terrain and perhaps were once prey for another species. The autopsy itself has yielded invaluable detail on the alien biology, specifically how they are capable of feats and abilities impossible for any species on Earth. The autopsy of the dead alien is complete, Colonel. So, the chief pathologist has sent in his report. It's 50 pages long, so I will give you the short version. Our alien visitors are big and tough, a bit over 2 meters tall, they breathe oxygen, they eat carbon-based food, they talk in clicks, and they are damn ugly. <laughs> From a technical point of view, three things stand out. First, these things are really goddamn hard to kill. They have a redundant biology with three hard brain clusters, should run out and the thing can just switch to its backups and keep on fighting. You have to take out at least two clusters if you want to put it down for good. Info sheets with cluster locations are being distributed to all our frontline troops, but till we figure out something more precise, we are recommending use of heavy weapons. Second, these things breed slow. They start as hermaphrodites and only become male or female towards the end of their lifespan, which is long, two centuries. Sounds as though they reproduce a lot slower than we do, which suggests they will have trouble replacing losses. Might, might be some way to take advantage of that. Third and most important, we might have a clue as to how their, their mind control works. The giant ugly thing on their face is some kind of sensory organ, like a nose that takes in particles. But it also expels them, they have, internal, they have internal organs that produce tiny particles that the face organ runs into the air. The biologists are calling these particles parasites. 
The theory is that they might be able to use them to talk or control behavior the way ants do. They don't know that that can make a human drop whatever he's doing and obey a giant alien, but they want to find out. I recommend we let them. Finally, given that the aliens are giant demonic monsters that she regenerate, our people have started calling them Hydras. It's as good a name as any. Okay. Mm. So the Hydras seem to use Ferrocytes information heavy virgin minutes as a communication tool. Maybe this, maybe this is the key to their mind control. For now at least it's the best lead we have got. Research Hydra Ferrocytes project when it becomes available. We need to complete these prerequisite texts and project to be able to complete the research needed to fulfill this objective. Hydrobiology or Coexistence Pact. Coexistence Pact is nothing we will get, right? Probably not. Hmm, what can we do in the meanwhile? In the meantime, we picked up mining module, if I'm not mistaken. We can continue the reactor fission array though. So now what we could do is Let's take out mass here. We could upgrade to a higher module, which would cost us three instead of two. Does the new mining module cost? No, it no longer costs mission control. So I think that's worth it. We should upgrade all of us. All of our mass bases here. Yeah, they basically would all be upgraded here. How much does it cost us? Well, basically nothing. Okay. So let's just upgrade everything on mass to them. Oh, wait a second. This one is not done yet. Oh, wait. Ah. No, this is the module. This one is of course done. So we can go to settlement here which would allow us to get the better mining modules in. That's all we want right now. Get these resources going here. And of course we can also do some other things here then. However that puts us on our mission control limit so we definitely have to adjust now. Which means we need to get more mission control. Best candidate for this is of course the USA. So we are going down to run knowledge investment here for the time being. We are also going into two here in Mexico, even though we have to get the unrest under control first. I also started making mission control here in Kazakhstan, but we also have an unrest problem here, which we also can't fix because of the cohesion which is pretty pulled down by the high inequality that we see here. So that's nothing we can fix anytime soon. We can use the Chinese economy soon for more mission control, but not right now. Yeah, let's go on board here. Hey, we have finished the fission reactor array. Meanwhile, we have wasted a little bit of time on Earth doing a lot of missions which led nowhere. Um, but with the fission array, we break up of uh, Pakistan. Yeah, no. We're not going for these breakup projects. We're going to research patrol vessels here, finish it up. Meanwhile, we have parasites here ongoing. All of Empires was picked by the servants, Cybernetix was picked by us. And with the. No, wait a second. I almost forgot something. So we do have a ship coming here. Not this one. This one here. A destroyer again. So we do have one destroyer coming here. As we tested that out earlier, we do need two ships. So we are going to build our escort here. 90 days. That's three months. Arrival is April, I think. So that's early enough. Let's check. Uh, arrival 26th of April. Yes, perfect. And then we're going to try to fight this one. So we have built the ship that we need. And now we can see 
whether we can upgrade everything here. So we could upgrade this one. So the biggest cost would be metal and a little bit of nobles. That would be fine. And the fission reactor array is also something we can afford. So that's something I would do now. In regards to wasted missions, I was forced to go to underground with all of them because everyone was known by basically all factions. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe we have a spy in our ranks. I'm not 100% sure. We need to see if that really um, develops itself. So let's see if that really is the case. But I'm going to skip a little bit forward. We are by now at 41%. So up here. we could theoretically try to get into China soon. Okay, well, we have not gone gotten the servant agent that we wanted but we got this one and we are going to investigate her because we know already that the servants have a lot of unused orcs currently so we're going to for example get this one this is a really nice one three stars two signs two security two projects this is massive this is a really really good one for our scientists for example so we are going to send three of our people to grab orcs from her. We captured her last turn and also we are going to try to get the first control point here. That would be a massive win here basically. Ah, Callisto, so the aliens have arrived at Jupiter. That's of course unfortunate for us. And parasites have done it. Uh, rare pheromone is a chemical that can influence a recipient's behavior. Our investigation of the so-called parasite reveals that it is an actual living cell. The distinction is that the pheromones affect wears off relatively quickly, whereas parasites are capable of reproducing the recipient's body, thereby extending the effect for significantly longer. When cross-referencing fMRI scans with acrocentralivic data, we can find that an awake subject's brain exhibits an abnormally high level of theta rays. These are normally only present during REM sleep or deep hypnosis, and when a scopia seen in a parasite affected subject, will make them usually suggestible. So we can find them and increase our defensive being influenced by alien parasites. Okay, update the codex with enthralled orc. Take a look at this. We're beginning to understand how they control the foot soldiers. Well, for good or bad, we've got we have got our answer. Our biologists are 99% certain that these parasites are how the hybrids are able to control their victims. The particles enter the system via the respiratory system or mucous membranes and make their way to the brain. Once there, they effectively grant the hide with complete mental control over the target. There doesn't seem to be any limit to it. Even suicide and dangerous orders will be carried out without hesitation. All the Hydra needs is time and it can press gang an army of fanatical loyal slaves. It's what every crazy warlord and tin pot dictator in Earth history has dreamed of. Soldiers that can't disobey. And the Hydras can, Hydras can make them just by breathing. The good news is that the fire set can be stopped. Standard mob gear provided provides complete protection, and even a basic gas mask will work a pitch. The bad news is that once the fire set are in your system, we have got no way to get them out. They lose effectiveness over time, but given that the hypers will be constantly topping up the fire set levels on their slaves, that doesn't help much. Our research team say they have learned all they can from the body. If we want to find out more, we will need a live subject. I guess that's what we need to do. We need a captive Hydra, which means we need a prison for it. Yes. Hydra containment is going to be one of the next big things. And the question now is what do we need to research? Um, energy lab is not right, right now important. Military sci science lab would be nice. Could start like this one is not necessary, this one as well. We should get strategic lobbying effect. We're going for global command structure here for the additional 40 control points here, which would be another point in China if we get the first one now. So let's see. They will now save us. And we are going to take, of course, Shimura here. Oh no, the persuasion one is gone. Hmm. Sad. Okay, still we take it. 
Uh, Italian petition of the lead. Okay, what do we want to take though? Romulus is an interesting. Mm. No, wait a second. We do need in uh, investigate. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. We do have too much stuff now. We can in fact sell something like this one here. Also this one. And also this one. Well, we are no longer in custody, so that's why we... Oh, seriously. So we do need a high score to make this work in time. Cleaning things up. This is definitely something we want to take. Okay, come on. Now the control point. Again against Tunisia. They made peace and now they declare war again. What's that? Come on, come on, come on, come on. The conquest of the desert. I don't care. We've gained significant nice. support. Nice. There you go. That's the first one here. And we are going for unity here because we want to be in control of China. This puts us at 6, 7. Now we can buffer up with an... Wait a second, we should check first what's available here. As usual, nothing with admin. Yeah. No, wrong one. one so, we are going to continue here. We can take one more because this one is finishing shortly after the next mission phase. So that's great. So, let's go. I'm going to skip ahead a bit and then we can wrap up this episode. Well, 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 we have found Xeno Alpha 4. We are going to, of course, also address him accordingly. Violence is and... Yeah, we're going to wait one more turn here in turn. Will come to our side. Also, we are now at 406 control points. So we have two of China now, which is fine. Uh, bean population... Yeah, let's do it. Um, no, decline. And uh, obsolete here. I think our public opinion here is at 50% now relatively fine. We are going to put a lot into welfare here. And only like one there. We're going to do something like this for the moment. And maybe one more here. Because we want to get the inequality down in China now. But also we want to get going on the terrible, terrible, terrible sustainability score here. We are going to get only marginal amounts here for the sustainability. But it's still probably worth it because the output of this country is basically everything on the world. 5.54 billion carbon dioxide. So here an overview. The output is no, not. But whatever. That's definitely helpful, and we can use it for making MC, but also fixing climate change slowly over time here because we don't need to increase our GDP here massively. It's really not worth it, probably. However, what is worth it later on is, of course, the Pan-Asian Combine, which we are looking for. So, um, yeah, basically, let's wrap up this episode here. There's our mining back online. Uh, Japanese island, nope. There's one turn with more ox here. Now let's see the ship. The ship, 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 ship. Oh, there's another one coming in December, in fact. Okay, so if if we can take this one out, April 26th. So we have that's going to be in the next episode. We're already looking forward to this. They will not like it if I take out a ship. I'm pretty sure about that. 
So ready to go. Can we? And seventeen percent. That's pretty good. Let's just go all in here with sixty-four. Let's go. Target. Offering assistance. That'd be awesome. Our technology could be used is to end done. hunger, poverty, and disease. Yet, and they rather took than carbon it. nanotubes. That's in fact a good technology, if I'm correct. At least the grid drive, which is something we could consider if we. No, no way that they can. Mars is already. Not Mars. Jupiter's already taken by the aliens. So we definitely need something better now. We We've need got to get intel on our target. We need to get to rail guns now. So that's something we should consider. In fact, so let's have a check here. Tech tree. We want rail guns. I'm not sure if we already have everything we need. So rail gun. Rail gun batteries, right? Hull mount. Yes, we want hull mount. No, we need to take ray gun. Okay, so we have to get control of one. Yeah, we need to get control of one. And also we do need a generator, so we need to do some fission stuff. We need to get one generator for fission. And um, we have something available here. Fuel cells, no. But here, solid core fission reactor. I think we have to take this part. But we should do this because we need something which provides energy in our ship for the ray guns as we're going to have a problem. Target eliminated. And there we are. Perfect. That's number three of six on Earth and no ships are coming except in April, which we hopefully can intercept. It's going to be awesome. So we have three left on Earth, potentially. And the next one we find we have to contain. Yes, we need to find we need to find number one basically. There we are, first human warship launched. Um join Foxtrot 2. There we are. These are of course terrible ships, but hopefully they will be enough for the task. To come. Oh, wait a second, wasn't there an orc turn? There was. Um, we need admin. Oh, this one is a nice one. Barani. Uh, you get one admin here. Now, Barani gives two signs and mission control bonuses, which are apparently quite nice. So we can get rid of the life signs here and take in Barani. Going to be useful. But everything else is pretty meh. And here we could for example give him stuff which buff him later on. Home nation is what? Pretoria, South Africa. I think we are going to keep some of the stuff here for the moment, for the experience. But in case we need to do something... Dragon Tech IT. Interesting. Plus three. So we could get rid of these small ones here. One. These two. We could get rid of these two. Yeah, let's do this. So, unequip this one and unequip this one. I know. And we take Dragon Tech IT, we get the science on top. And of course, one mission control, which is worth it right now. We're going to sell this one. Awesome. And we could, in fact. Oh no, wait, it's not applying right now. Because we're in the middle of a mission phase. We're winning their hearts and minds. New army has been deployed. Nice. So the problem is, of course, that we need another 130 at least to... No, even 160 almost. 
to take over all of China. So the best solution would be that we get the Greater America Project as fast as possible. But the servants have picked Fall of Empires, which is of course annoying. And yeah. Can lower the unity here. Hmm. Yeah, that's not ideal. But we have to find a way. We could also make more stations, but we are lacking MC here. And we have our fleet finished, so we could in fact for example upgrade this one. And then we can put an administration node there as well. And now we can check here. We need at least three now. Yeah, we don't have that. We do however need the technology, so for which we need to go into Asian containment here as fast as possible. And then of course get the projects which increase the tolerance for MC by the aliens basically. That's going to be so essential here. And of course we are going to unlock the next thing by Maybe taking one in custody. Side. And then we are down to four already. Okay, Iceland is also merged. Interesting. There we go. Fission reactor 2 need to unlock now. I don't think that we need molten core fission reactor, but I need to check the science path. We are going back into this one here. But we're not going to prioritize right now. We want to have the alien containment before we take out all agents on Earth before <laughs> that might happen. Oh, hydroponics, we're going to need this. But not right now. We have a very good in income now. In fact, we maybe went overboard with our mass bases here. But better to have something in in the bank here, basically. We should be cautious, yes. So, for example, what we need to do now, and we're going to make a cut here. So, Boarding in. basically, everyone is known to the aliens now. Going into hiding. So, Ready. Which means we are going to disappear with basically ever run now. Evading pursuit. The pilot yeah, as well. Yeah. I'm because here. these assassinate missions are Thank extremely you. loud. Ready for orders. And only Kananilo who did it in fact was not discovered. Interesting. Because his security of course is immense, so he is pretty much immune. And we do have twenty-five here, twenty-five admin. Yeah, his stats are awesome. There's really not much we can improve on him right now, except with more experience points. So this one is awesome to have right now. Yeah, and with that, I'm going to make a cut. We have taken over two points in China already. And let's check something. Can we now get rid of the rivalry? Because theoretically, the two percent, it's even lower now. Yeah. We have to get to the executive to be able to get rid of the rivalry here. Now what we do want to do though is before we finish up here. So we have two major projects which we want to do. For one is the Pan Asian Combine here. Which needs great nations. And then 50k here. So that's expensive of course. And also we want to call course the Great America, whatever. Greater United American, North American. Yeah. Yep, we want these two as well, basically. And that's probably our short, um, let's call it short term goal here. Mm. Yeah, more or less short term. But getting these projects would be massive because then we have two extreme big superpowers here on Earth. And even if the aliens land, like in India with the servants or something over here, we can take it out from there. What we need to do in between probably is at least break into Russia once. Ready for my mission. Uh, we could, for example, make public opinions here and then break this point and then the executive because I want to disband all nukes of Russia 
it's not worth risking anything in this direction. Um, it would be very dangerous, in fact. Undecided. 69%? What happened here? I mean, they should do it cheap. We could also take over Russia. That's also a thing, because we already have Kazakhstan. Where did all my public opinion go? <laughs> Interesting. They're all gone here into undecided by now. But that's fine with me. Yeah, so basically we have um, many options here. Russia is extremely cheap in total for not even 80 points. So basically the two control points we have in China are worth more than Russia in as a whole. Yeah, a lot of options, a lot of decisions we need to do here. But let's see. We will continue in the next episode. Leave a like and subscribe.